your words will disappear. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. Hold up! Hold up! He gonna get this work! He gonna get this work! Hold up! I see what he can go through when the father don't take the same. King Ferdinand's letter to the Taino Arawak Indians. 1493. In the name of King Ferdinand and Juana, his daughter, Queen of Castile and Leon, etc., conquerors of barbarian nations, we notify you as best we can that our Lord God Eternal created heaven and earth and a man and woman from whom we all descend for all times and all over the world. In the 5,000 years since creation, the multitude of these generations caused men to divide and establish kingdoms in various parts of the world, among whom God chose St. Peter as leader of mankind, regardless of their law, sect, or belief. He seated St. Peter in Rome as the best place from which to rule the world, but he allowed him to establish his seat in all parts of the world and rule all people, whether Christians, Moors, Jews, Gentiles, or any other sect. He was named Pope, which means admirable and greatest father, governor of all men. Those who lived at that time obeyed St. Peter as Lord and superior king of the universe. And so did their descendants, obey his successors, and so on to the end of time. The late Pope gave these islands and mainland of the ocean and the contents hereof to the above-mentioned king and queen. As is certified in writing, as you may see the documents if you should so desire. Therefore, their highnesses are lords and masters of this land. They were acknowledged as such when this notice was posted and were and are being served willingly and without resistance. Then their religious envoys were acknowledged and obeyed without delay and all subjects unconditionally and of their own free will became Christians and thus they remain. Their highnesses received their allegiance with joy and bignity and decreed that they be treated in this spirit like good and loyal vassals and you are under the obligation to do the same. Therefore, we request that you understand this text, deliberate on its contents within a reasonable time and recognize the church and its highest priests, the Pope, as rulers of the universe and in their name, the King and Queen of Spain as rulers of this land, allowing the religious fathers to preach our holy faith to you. You own compliance as a duty to the king, and we, in his name, will receive you with love and charity, respecting your freedom and that of your wives and sons and your rights of possession, and we shall not compel you to baptism unless you, informed of the truth, wish to convert to our holy Catholic faith, faith as almost all your neighbors have done in other islands, in exchange for which their highnesses bestow many privileges and exemptions upon you. Should you fail to comply or delay maliciously in doing so, we assure you that with the help of God, we shall use force against you, declaring war upon you from all sides and with all possible means, and we shall bind you to the yoke of the church and of their highnesses. We shall enslave your persons, wives and sons, sell you or dispose of you as the king sees fit. We shall seize your possessions and harm you as much as we can as disobedient and resisting vassals. And we declare you guilty of resulting deaths and injuries, exempting their highnesses of such guilt as well as ourselves and the gentlemen who accompany us. We hereby request that legal signatures be affixed to this text and pray those present to bear witness for us, etc.